Hey everyone, so this is another beauty haul video. Um, I actually haven't got that many makeup type products this time round, um, but I just wanted to share with you what I bought. This is a collective beauty haul, so this is everything that I can remember buying since the last time I did a beauty haul video. Um, but um, like I said, not a lot of things, but I haven't really needed, needed or seen anything that I desperately wanted this month. But um, yeah, I'll just show you what I've got. So, um, oh. so winter boots and I have got, oh, still a bit wet, I had to grab it out of the shower. It's the Stape and Glory Sugar Crush Body Fresh and Foamy Body Wash. And because Super Soap and Glory is always on 3 for 2, I also bought their Sugar Crush, which I absolutely, absolutely love. It's one of my favourite body exfoliators, and it smells divine. Um, I think they've re reshuffled their brand, or they've um, repackaged their brand. Um, but yeah, I they, they basically got, got a whole set of this um, citrus type scent so i've got the body wash i've got the um body scrub and i also got the um body butter cream as well i love the shower gel i love the lime scent anyone that follows me knows i love any type of shower gel that has a strong lime scent just because it's a great great morning pick me up um so yeah absolutely love this the body scrub, I don't really have to mention it again because I've been going on about this for the last few months. Um, this is probably my 10th like, body scrub or something because I use it often. Um, leaves my skin, baby soft. Um, again, love the scent. It All of them has um, it's sweet lime, almond oil and macadamia oil. Yeah, for all of them. This one leaves my skin baby smooth. Um, I think out of the three, out of the three that I've brought, um, this is the new one that I've, I've this is the newest one that I've tried, and it's their body butter. And I don't love it as much as I love the shower gel and the sugar crush, just because I know Soap and Glory does another body cream that's either creamier than this, it leaves my skin feeling even more moisturised but I haven't used that one for quite a long time and I can't remember what it's called this one's not bad, it still has that lime scent it's very refreshing and I love using this in the morning um, I just wanted it to be more moisturising but um, yeah, it doesn't bother me um, it's probably not one that I would repurchase when I finish using but um, I'll probably try one of their other body creams if I don't go back to my usual ones. But yeah. Um, also from Boots. Um, I actually just bought this the other day. And it's the Blank White Shock Formula Toothpaste. If you, I think if you follow me the last, I think, two months ago, my... Beauty Paul probably had like three blank toothpastes um, that I brought then. I haven't finished using that, but this was on offer and it's one of their new ones, so I wanted to try it out. Not that I've had a chance yet, but um, yeah, it was, it was on offer. I think it's only like three pounds something in boots at the moment. It's a third off or something, so I thought I'll buy this because you always, always will need toothpaste, so, yeah. And, um, another toothpaste, and this one I brought quite a while ago, is the Pearl Drops Ultimate Whitening Four Shades Whiter Teeth in Three Weeks. Um, this one's recommended by my sister, it's about £3, three ninety nine, something like that. Um, I would say it works pretty well, I actually saw a difference when I first started to use this, still using it now just because I've opened it and I think I should before I start on another new toothpaste. But yeah, um, this actually did work. Um, I saw a difference. I'm not sure how much whiter my teeth is because 
I, I never I never check it out. I never check out the guidelines just to see how many shades lighter I am. As long as I see a difference, that's fine by me. So um yeah, this is a good one. If you um I think pearl drops tend to be quite a safe bet. It's not gonna get your teeth extremely, extremely white, but it definitely will get it a good couple of shades whiter. So definitely worth a go. Um I think cool. Right, I can't remember if I mentioned this in my last haul video. So instead of going back to check the video, I'm just going to mention it again. It's the Origins Ginseng um, Moisturising Cream. Um, it's the new one. I got it a little while ago. I've started to use it and um, it's really good. I love the scent. It's this orangey type scent and um, I just... I just think it's a really good moisturiser. Um, it's very lightweight, it doesn't leave my face greasy, um, and it makes a good base for foundation. So I love this. I'm going through this one really quickly because I have a feeling I might have mentioned it last time. Um, like I said, not a lot of makeup, but I did manage to buy three, three types of makeup. It's the uh, Maybelline Fit Me Stick Foundation which um, I will do a review on. I've got this in 220 Natural Beige. Um, it's not actually that bad. But like I said, I'll do an in more in-depth review on this if you want me to. Um, I bought the Revlon Calistay Ultimate Suede Lipstick in 025 Socialite. Um, it's, it's actually really nice. This is like... This is my lip shade, I think, because it makes my lips look um, natural, because I've got quite a pinky lip, and um, so this just makes my lip colour look even nicer, so yeah. And I also bought the Revlon, is there a name to this? Ah, Super, Super Luxurious Lip Gloss in Kiss Me Coral, and I've got this on. I don't know if it's gone there, actually. Okay. But yeah, I, I absolutely love this lip gloss. Um, it's actually quite smooth. It's not too sticky. Very shiny. And I love this um, Kiss Me Coral shade. It's just a nice orangey red shade and I don't tend to go for the orangey type lipsticks just because I don't think it suits me that well but the list this lip gloss actually looks really nice on me so um I really love the shade and I'm, I'm eyeing the other shades as well so I won't be surprised if I end up with their whole collection and um the one thing I really love about this lip gloss is that it's actually highly pigmented which means it sort of gives you a good colour on your lip, unlike some other lip glosses where it's practically clear. So um, I can forego lipstick when using this. So I really like this lip gloss. And um, finally, see, like I said, not too many products, even though I've blabbered on for like eight minutes now. Um, I got the Schwarzkopf, I think that's how you pronounce it, got the Got To Be um, Guardian Angel 220 degrees heat protection spray. So basically a heat protection spray. Um, it's on offer at the moment, literally. Um, I brought these today. So and hopefully this video is going up today or tomorrow. But I brought this in Super Drugs. It was a third off, so this is only 270. So um, yeah, I go through a lot of heat sprays. And I also got their Oil-licious with Argan Oil for daily use Weightless Dry Oil Mist, which helps tame, frizz, instant shine and smooth and sleek your hair. Um, it's new. I haven't seen this one before. And I tend to use um, an oil on my hair to tame the little, you know, fluffy bits that you get that your um, straightener can't seem to get to at the top of your hair. So like, like these. That you can see. Um, so I just thought this might make a good quick spray to smooth those down because I don't like anything too heavy on my roots either. So um, yeah I'm actually really looking forward to trying this out because if it's good I'm just gonna head down to Superdrugs and buy more 
just because it's really light and um, it just seems really easy to use and it's probably great for taking away because I'm thinking about when I go to Hong Kong my hair goes fuzzy and static and yeah non-tameable so if this works I'm definitely going to buy, buy more of these but yeah definitely I think that's 270 as well Have a look. yeah so um that's it for my beauty haul this month um as usual if you want me to review anything then just give me a message below and I will get onto it as soon as possible but thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye